Oh hey, my name is Bryce Peters and welcome to Call of the Wild, where we discover nature and other neat things. Today, we're in my backyard looking for the common back swimmer, which is found throughout most of North America. We hope you enjoy this episode of Call of the Wild. The back swimmer goes through incomplete metamorphosis. It starts out as white eggs, usually in bunches of 10 or less, either on or insulated into the leaves and stems of aquatic vegetation. Then it turns into a nymph, which looks quite like the adult. Then it grows into the full-grown adult. The back swimmer has a lighter coloring on its back. It has long hind legs that are modified for swimming and are petal like and have long hairs. It also has wings so that it can fly. Its abdomen is a darker coloring. Its eyes are red and it has four legs that are used to grasp prey and used in mating when they rub them against their rostrum to make a sound to attract a mate. The back swimmer uses its four legs to grab its prey. Then it uses its piercing mouth parts to kill and suck fluids from the prey. Its prey usually consists of aquatic insects and small vertebrates. The nymphs are often cannibalistic. Back swimmers can survive in any water quality. They are mostly found in ponds and slow moving streams like this one. The back swimmer has a keel shaped back so that it glides through the water much like a boat. It also has counter shading which means predators from below see the lighter shaded back and think it's merely the sky, while predators from above see the darker shaded underbelly and think it's the bottom of the water. The back swimmer stores air under its wings and around its body, and then uses those air pockets, or bubbles, to breathe. The back swimmer is in the Nodonecta family. All species in the Nodonecta family can bite, and they are known to be destructive to tadpoles and fishes. Some unique characteristics of the back swimmer are its long, or shaped back legs used for propulsion. It is lighter than water, so it naturally floats, and a black and white back swimmer can often be seen swimming under the ice during the winter. Warning, don't try this at home. I'm a trained idiot about to demonstrate the swimming of the back swimmer, how it uses hind legs, has giant paddles or things to swim in the water. Here I go. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of Call of the Wild. I hope you learned some pretty neat stuff about the back summer. Tune in next week to go to Mark's house where we learn about Sasquatch. Thank you. Good night. That's pretty neat.